everybody, welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany, I'm so glad you all found me today. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance books and today I'm doing another spotlighting romance and today we're looking at friends to lovers romances. So let me know which of these that you read, what, what your favorite friends to lovers books are, anything else that you wanna talk about down there in the comments, this place, do it. But on your way down to comment, don't forget to stop, hit the subscription and the notification bell because that's gonna tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week. All right, let's get to it. We're looking at friends to lovers romances in three, two, one, go. quick, short and sweet, if I could get it all out. The first one is I am doing Monday night sprints for the time being. My schedule changes a lot um, for work purposes, but for right now I'm doing Monday night sprints. They start at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. They are much more focused on reading than me gabbing because I love to gab, but we do keep on track during those. They're usually about three hours. So join us for that if you wanna get some reading done. We have a lot of fun. We also do every Saturday at noon. Now, some of those Saturday at noon reading sprints and chats, they are very chatty for one thing, and they are focused on cozy mysteries, but you don't have to read a cozy mystery. You don't even have to read. Some people clean, some people write, some people edit videos, whatever you wanna do, but join us for the fun in that. It's every Saturday at noon. The other thing is we do have events for those, so the second and fourth, our cozy mystery events we do a series read along and we do a book club pick if you would like to join us check out those are all there's all sorts of announcements in my cozy mystery videos for those so the last thing i have is the giveaway so i'm doing a giveaway on my channel my channel just reached 600 subscribers 600 subscribers <laughs> one more time my channel just reached 600 subscribers perfect nailed it okay <laughs> If you would have told me that in December when I first started this channel, <laughs> I there was no way I would have believed it. No way. I'm having so much fun. I want to make sure I show my appreciation. When I say that I am so appreciative, this channel has really helped get me through this past 16 months, year. I wasn't doing it the whole time, but since I have been because, you know, everybody's been stuck at home and these lives and the friends I've met have, have given me something to look forward to. So having said that, I wanna make sure I show my appreciation. So I'm doing a giveaway. I'm doing three $15 Amazon gift cards. So here's the easy way to get entered into the giveaway. I have a two minute video on the giveaway that explains it. Like that video, subscribe to my channel, and throw in your favorite emoji, your favorite animal emoji, your favorite food emoji, and there you go. You are entered to win. We are drawing them on the winners live on the 28th of August, right after our book club event that starts at noon. So it'll be around 3.30. Hope you all get entered. Good luck to you. Now let's get right into these friends to lovers books. The first one is Blurred Lines. It is right here. This is by Lauren Lane. This is the first book in the Love Unexpectedly series. It says there are five books in this series. The next one is called Before She Was Mine, right here. This is by Amelia Wilde. It says there are three books in the series, but unfortunately in my notes, I didn't write down what the series name was. <laughs> the next book is called Rebellious, right here. This is by Christy Marie, and it looks like it's a standalone. The next book, Sincerely Carter. This is the first book in the Sincerely Yours series by Whitney G. It says there are two books in this series. The next book, A Totally Awkward Love Story. I love that name. Because <laughs> I feel like that's pretty realistic sometimes. This is by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iveson. It's called Take It on Faith, right here. This is a second chance, Friends to Lovers. And it is part of the Hometown series by Jessie Marie. And there are two books in that series. The next book is called Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. This is by Christina Lauren. The next book is called Him. It is right here. This is by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy. Two powerhouse romance authors coming together to write a book. I am so in for this. This is the first book in the Him series. There are two books in it. I don't know if all the series is gonna be written by both of them, just the first one, but I'm totally checking that one out because I love both of those authors. 
Next one is called Not So Nice Guy right here. This is by R.S. Gray. The next book is called Frigid right here. This is the first book in the Frigid series by J.L. Lynn. I did not write down how many are in the series. I apologize. The next book is one that's very well known. It's Culty right here. This is by Mariana Zapata. And if you watch even, you know, romance YouTubers occasionally, you've probably seen this book. It's been very, very uh, well received. The next book is called The Friend Zone right here. This is the second book in the Game On series by Kristen Callahan. And this is one that I probably will definitely look into. The next one is a great book. It's called The Deal right here. This is, of course, by L. Kennedy. It's the off-campus series. It's book one. Really good. The next book is called Playing for Keeps. I kind of chuckled because the series is called Neighbor from Hell. This is the first book in that series. It's by R.L. Matheson. <laughs> The next book is called Marriage on Madison Avenue. It's right here. This is the third book in the Central Park Pact series by Lauren Lane. The next book, Hopeless, right here. This is by Colleen Hoover. It is the first book in the Hopeless series. The next one, People We Meet on Vacation, right here. This is by Emily Henry. It is a standalone novel. The next book is called Just Friends right here. This is the first book in the Never Just Friends series by Saxon James. There are three books in it. The next book, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. This is another one that was, I saw a lot on BookTube. Can't wait to check it out. It's a football romance, so I'm totally in. I can't wait till I get through some of my sass list because I made myself a, I really, uh, a commitment that I would not start new series or book, new books until I wiped out some of the series that I had going. <laughs> <laughs> because of that, it's been hard to start new ones. Ugh, it's like self-inflicted. What am I doing? But I have made some major progress. So when I am able to start new ones, it's going to be so much fun. The next book is Friends Without Benefits. It's right here. This is the second book in the Knitting in the City series by Penny Reed. There are seven books in this series. Penny Reed writes the Beard series as well. I thought... I need to re I'm, I'm, I need to check this series out. First of all, Knitting in the City sounds really cute. I'm hesitant because I thought that I would love the Bearded series because I love beards. I don't know why. Like just because I love beards doesn't mean I'm going to love the book. But in my head, I was like, oh, I'm going to be so into this. And I really didn't care for it. I mean, I only read one. But... But this one also sounds really cute and it's by her. If you've read it, let me know what you think. The next one is called The Fourth Time Charm. <laughs> this is the fourth book in the Fulton U series by Maya Hughes. It's, there are four books in this series. The next book is called The Hardest Fall right here. This is the standalone by Ella Mays. The next book is called I Think I Love You right here. This is the fifth book in the Oxford series by Lauren Lane. Five books in that series. Did I do that one earlier? Because I'm pretty sure there was another Lauren Lane on this list. Well, if I did it twice and I hopefully I catch it in the edits and if I don't, you just got it twice. <laughs> the next book is called Kiss and Break Up right here. This is the first book in the Magnolia Cove series by Ella Fields. There's three books in that series. I love Magnolia Cove, the sound of it. I haven't read any of the books. Since I'm saying I love the name. I might check it out on the name alone. <laughs> the next book is called Us. This is the second book in the Hymn series. It's by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy two books in that series. So both of them are friends to lovers and you have two amazing romance authors. So that is going to be great. The next book is called Blindsided right here. This is the fourth book in the Fake Boyfriend series by Eden Finley. Look out. I'm totally checking this one out. Six books in that series. I love fake dating trope. Oh my gosh. There's a whole series called Fake Boyfriends. I'm on it. The next book is called A Thousand Boy Kisses right here. This is by Tilly Cole. Looks like it's a standalone. The next book is called Dirty Letters. 
the reason I was a little shocked as I was reading what I wrote down is because another book that's written by two very, very prominent romance writers together. I'm so into this concept. It's by V. Keeland and Penelope Ward, who are both great writers. I and mean, put them together and, whew, I mean, I haven't read it yet, so maybe I should save all the hubba bubba until I read it. But sounds like it'd be amazing. Next book is called Fighting Science right here. This is the first book in the On the Ropes series by Ali Martinez. There are three books in that series. I'm excited about this one because it looks like it's a fighter series and I've been enjoying those. The next book is called Big Rock right here. This is the first book in the Big Rock series by Lauren Blakely. There are seven books in this series. Holy moly, my TBR is exploding right now. And oh, I just love... I just love new books. I just love books, period. But man, do I love, like, the, just the magic of, like, finding new books and series. It's just over, oh, I love it. It's like, oh my gosh, is this going to be my next favorite series? If you're a huge book fan, do you feel like that? Because I am, like, obsessed with the, uh, with, oh. Anyways. Back to the books. <laughs> the next one is called The Change Up right here. This is the fifth book in the Brentwood Boys series by Megan Quinn. There are eight books in this series. I'm currently reading the Dating by Numbers series by, by Megan Quinn. And I've also read a couple of her baseball series books, but I don't think it's called Brentwood Boys. I think this is a completely separate series. She's another author I really enjoy. There are definitely books that I don't like by her, but we don't have to like every book by every by an author just to be a fan of the author, right? You know, I mean, if you like nine out of 10, that's a pretty good percentage rate. But I just feel like it's just very um, hold, cold, cold, very cold and hot with me. I am having trouble putting words together today. Bear with me. The next one is called On Point right here. This is the third book in the Out of Uniform series by Annabeth Albert. Seven books in that series. I am reading her Hot Shot series right now and I am really enjoying it. The next book is called A Really Bad Idea. Might check it out for name alone because that's hilarious. This is by Janine Collette. It's a standalone. The next book is called Lucas, right here. This is the first book in the Preston Brothers series by Jay McLean, and it says there are three books in that series. Next book, Leo, right here. This is a standalone. It's by Mia Sheridan. The next book I'm excited about is called Insatiable. I haven't read any of the series, but the series is called Cloverleaf Farms. It's the third book in this series. This is by Melanie Harlow, five books in the series. I have been digging farm books lately, like cozy mysteries. So I don't know if it's just a farm thing in general. I need, I, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's a farm romance. Oh, I'd definitely be checking it out. I like like ranching and cowboy theme romances. So I probably, I guess it is probably pretty close to that. The next book is called The Mighty Storm. It's right here. This is the first book in the Storm series by Samantha Towell. And there are four books currently in that series. The next book is called Hothead right here. This is by uh, Damon Swade. I have read it. I loved it. Check it out. The next book is called The Best Laid Plans right here. This is by Cameron Lund. It's a standalone. The next book is called To Have It All right here. This is another standalone and it's by Jill Wexler. I've never heard of that author. The next book is called Wasted Words right here. This is the first book in the Austins series by Stacy Hart, and it says there are five books in that series. The next book is called The Blueprint right here. This is the first book in the Rules of Possession series by S.E. Harmon, and there are two books out. The next book is called Priceless right here. This is the eighth book in the Forbidden Men series by Linda Cage. And it says there are 10 books out in that series. The next book is called The Happy List right here. This is the first book in the Better With You series by Briar Prescott. There are two books out. The next one is called Marry Me right here. This one I'm excited about too because the series title is called Tattoos and Temptation. This is book one. That sounds like something I would love. This is by Mia Monroe and there are six books currently out. The next one is Crazy Stupid Bromance right here. This is part of the Bromance Book Club series. It is book three. This is by Lissa K. Adams, and there are four books in that series. Next book is called 
curious right here. This is the first book in the Fin Factor series by R.J. Alexander, and there are 11 books out in that series. The next book is called The Silent Waters right here. This is the third book in the Elements series by uh, Brittany C. Cherry, who I've just recently discovered and I really am liking her writing. Four books in this series, so I'll definitely be checking this series out. The last one we got for you today for Friends to Lovers is Suddenly Forbidden right here. This is the first book in the Grace Springs University series by Ella Fields, and there are three books out in that series. I hope you enjoyed this Friends to Lovers spotlight, and until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everyone!